what is up my ASMR and fragrance family it is your boy your whispering peanut butter pie making perfume pimp Christopher Cologne and I am back with well I'm back with another video so okay so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna make my own recipe of peanut butter pie now I've never made a peanut butter pie before but I have mixed yogurt and peanut butter together, vanilla Greek yogurt, and maple syrup, and this shit tastes really good. Like I said, I've never made it as an actual pie, I just kind of mixed it together a couple times and really liked it. I was like, ooh, that would make a good peanut butter pie, so that's what we're going to go for today. So we're going to see how it turns out, which I know how the filling turns out, so I don't even have to, I don't even have to say anything, but, or, I mean, or I don't know what the hell I just said, but anyway, yeah, so we have a chocolate, chocolate crust, and this is gluten free, because I really don't plan on eating this, but I've noticed it's like, me and stuff with gluten in it does not, we do not get along, so. Um, and then, Smucker's Natural Peanut Butter. Now, I like non-GMO things and everything, and peanuts are one of the biggest GMO crops, so this is more than likely GMO, but there's only two ingredients, which is peanut and salt. I don't want the hydrogenated vegetable. I don't want all the other crap that they put in these peanut butters and everything. I want my peanut butter to be just peanuts and salt, and I want it to separate. So, I don't need all the garbage in it that keeps it from separating. I eat peanut butter like that now, and it's just, it tastes disgusting to me. It doesn't even taste like peanut butter anymore. So, and then, Cabot Greek Yogurt. This is thicker than Chobani Greek yogurt and it has a couple less ingredients in it too. So that's one reason why I went with this. And then instead of putting sugar or whatever else you could put in a uh, peanut butter pie, which I like my stuff a little sweeter. So, but I'm going with uh, maple syrup, maple syrup. So, and the ingredients in this maple syrup. So. stand so we're gonna wait on this and then yeah and this is just a work table right here so and I got chocolate chips which are just some that I bought because my kids they were over here yesterday and wanted a uh, they wanted pancakes, so. I don't know why I have a big thing about dust being in bowls and cups and everything like that. And like this bowl was just washed last night, but I'm sitting here like worried about if there's dust in it. <laughs> yeah, so this is probably like a week up. Video. I'm gonna try to not make it long, but yeah, y'all, y'all see how it, how the oil separates. Because if I'm not mistaken, that's what some of the other stuff that they put in it for is to keep it from separating. Because the other peanut butters I've seen with all kinds of different oils and crap in them, they don't ever separate. So I could be wrong. That's just my guess. I'd be willing to bet. Yeah, now you see how thick that is. That's pretty thick. So, well, first one I'm going to do. First is 
because I usually just take a little bit and put it in a bowl. I'm not measuring out anything or anything like that. So, but what I am going to do is get my peanut butter all mixed up first. Now, normally, if I first bought this, this stuff is all ready to get out. It's already stirred because while I'm standing in line, I'll sit there and flip it. It's kind of just a kind of just a habit thing, I guess. Now 
it is time for the now it is time for the the this stuff, the maple syrup. Yeah. I don't know why I couldn't get it. Yeah, now you don't want to have to put the maple syrup in it. It still tastes good without the maple syrup. It's just the maple syrup it has more of a sweetness to it.
come to think about it. I'm kind of wondering if I was supposed to cook this crust. Like, I can cook like hell on a grill. But, and I can cook like hell on a stovetop if I'm in the mood. But baking, baking is not my thing. of this crust are coming apart. I don't think they're supposed to come apart that easy. But, yeah, so. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, I figured. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put some chocolate chips on there. Because, I mean, you got a chocolate crust. Put some chocolate chips on it. Some some maple syrup. I mean, you could use. 
use other stuff other than maple syrup. That's just what I'm going with. And then uh, some Smucker's natural peanut butter. Uh, you can use whatever peanut butter you want for this, but yeah, if you decide to make it, hell, if y'all do decide to make it, or whatever you do, drop me a ad, drop me a picture on Instagram and the messages. I need to get back on there. I haven't been on there. Um, I don't, I mess with Facebook and that's Facebook and YouTube and that's about it because I really, I'm not too big for social media really. I'm more of an in-person type person. So, but yeah, so I'm going to get off here y'all and I will see y'all next video. Y'all take it easy and...